So, the simple thing of taking a cold shower every day is supposed to be hugely beneficial for both the human physique and the human mind. Today I'm going to look at what that actually means and if it's really that simple. I'm Francis Drake and this is the channel where I improve me. Knowing the science of a subject, or an action in this case, can make it much more compelling to do. And cold showers really have some scientifically proven benefits on its side. First off, I will take a look at the three most compelling ones. The first one is that it can strengthen our immune system. Immune system is the police of the body and everything that tries to come in and destroy it, the immune system will keep out. And if it's something I really would like to have on my side, it's the immune system. Without it, you can just forget everything else. I'm not saying that not taking a cold shower will destroy your immune system, but the science shows that taking them will strengthen it. In one study where seven healthy men sat in a climatic chamber All right. for two hours with only 5 degrees Celsius or 41 Fahrenheit got the results that the natural killer cells in the immune system increased making their immune system stronger after they came out of the chamber than before they went in. It has also been tested that people who are exposed to acute cold get their immune system activated. That means that it gets sharpened and prepared. If you have a police force you want that police force to be prepared and sharpened and then exposing yourself to cold can really help activate this. The second compelling benefit is that it can burn fat and it's pretty logic to think that when we are exposed to cold our bodies try to burn fat to generate heat so in the study they also tested some people where they put on them a cooled jacket this jacket was cooled to 18 degrees celsius or 64 fahrenheit and they had this jacket on for two hours after two hours it was shown that the average person had burned 250 calories making cold showers some kind of a small exercise you can do in the morning the last i will mention and the most compelling one for me really makes me want to do it it makes your mind and your body much more robust. There are many things that can support this claim. We have to remember that taking a cold shower is a pretty far concept for us now but it has been the prime way of washing yourself for the most of human existence. In our western world today it is of course considered extreme to take a cold shower but hot showers has never been a privilege we have had. Our ancestors had to survive in the harsh and rough realities of nature making and sculpting their bodies into handling that kind of environment. That is actually the ideal environment for our bodies. And an argument can be used to say that we, why should we take cold showers now? We don't need to be in that rough environment anymore. But the only issue there is that we still have the bodies that were sculpted by nature such a long time ago. We have unfortunately become a weaker image of our ancestors that lived in these rough and harsh environments and that had to take a bath in a cold lake or in the cold river. And a side effect of these comfortable lives we are living can also be shown in the studies of the cold shower. To say that stress is pretty present in our society today is pretty accepted. And this is because the ways we lived before in the cold and harsh environment often activated the, the fight or flight mechanism. The fight or flight mechanism is what makes our heart pound, makes our blood vessels bigger so we get more energy when we feel like we are in a dangerous situation. But in today's society there are no tigers lying around the bush or we don't have to struggle to get food. But the fight or flight mechanism is still there so it gets activated in other ways. And since we never stimulate this and we are never used to this fight or flight mechanism it gets easily activated. So take Taking a cold shower will actually raise the bar. And it was shown that habitual winter swimmers that swam 5 to 10 minutes once a week in the winter season had a much higher bar for activating stress in their body. And they had actually developed a defense mechanism for easy activation of stress. And last but not least, it increases our willpower. The last thing you want to do when you get out of bed is to walk into a ice cold shower and then stand there uncomfortably to then walk out. A warm shower is what the most pleasurable thing you can do in the beginning of the morning. And willpower is actually something we have to build up too. So when you take that cold shower then you build your willpower a little bit stronger so you have more willpower the next day. And if you take it again it will be easier to do the next time and it will just be easier and easier and this will make an effect that will help you in other situations where you will need your willpower. Okay so everything I mentioned now sounds really good and why 
why shouldn't you take a cold shower then? And even it doesn't sound that hard in the comfortable setting I'm standing in now. But I've been testing it out for the last couple of weeks and I can say that it was something different that I would expect. To actually get up and take that cold shower when I woke up was much harder to say the least than I thought it would. So if you want to see, I can show you guys how it went down for me. In the beginning, everything went okay. But then, I started building resistance. And with resistance comes procrastination. I couldn't escape it. I started eating before I took a shower. And when I finally came to it, I couldn't do it. So I sat there. I hadn't taken a shower and I had no more time. So as you saw, the just taking a shower had become a huge burden for me. To that extent that I didn't do it at all. What I found out is that I'd given too much thought to it. That I gave myself a choice if I should take the cold shower or not. So the solution I found for not building up all that resistance was to put on a timer. For example, put the timer on 10 minutes and say to myself, in 10 minutes I'm gonna stand right here again, all dressed up with a cold shower already done. This made that I had a choice in the matter disappear a bit, so that I just had to go in, do it and get back. And when I got the momentum of the cold shower, I really started to enjoy it more. I felt more fresh and more awake after I did it. And as I'm standing here right now, I would rather prefer to do a cold shower than a hot shower. So I really hope that you will test it out for yourself and see if it's something for you. It can be really beneficial and that you have seen now. But also, I know that you will feel, feel fresh and awake after you have done it. So thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys.